Welcome to the magnificent world of the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the earliest cradles of urban life. Sprawling across what is now Pakistan and Northwest India, this remarkable civilization emerged more than 5,000 years ago, leaving an indelible mark on human history. Known for its advanced urban planning, intricate craftsmanship, and undeciphered script, the Indus Valley Civilization remains a testament to our ancestors' ingenuity. Join us as we journey back in time to one of the world's most ancient urban marvels. The Indus Valley remained a hidden chapter in history until the 1920s when the first remnants of this civilization were discovered. The tale of this discovery is as fascinating as the civilization itself. It was 19th century railway engineers, not archaeologists, who first stumbled upon the ruins while sourcing bricks for railway tracks. A few decades later, in the early 20th century, formal excavations began, unearthing the secrets of this ancient civilization. The two most prominent archaeological sites, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, were discovered in what is now Pakistan. These cities revealed a civilization of extraordinary sophistication and scale. Harappa, the first site to be excavated, gave its name to this civilization. Mohenjo-daro, meaning Mound of the Dead, was discovered later, but its remarkably well-preserved ruins provided a more detailed glimpse into the past. The archaeologists found cities that had been meticulously planned. The settlements were laid out in a grid pattern, with buildings made from standardized baked bricks. This level of planning and standardization was unheard of in the Bronze Age, and indicated an advanced understanding of urban planning and civil engineering. Among the ruins were also found public baths, granaries, and a complex network of covered drainage systems, reflecting a society that valued hygiene and community welfare. The discovery of a large number of artifacts, such as pottery, seals, and jewelry, provided insights into the daily lives, trade, and craft skills of the Indus people. But it wasn't just the physical structures that intrigued the archaeologists. They also found numerous examples of an enigmatic script etched on seals and pottery. This script, as yet undeciphered, continues to be one of the most intriguing aspects of the Indus Valley civilization, promising to unlock further secrets about this fascinating culture. These excavations unlocked the gateways to a civilization that thrived millennia ago, revealing a society of remarkable sophistication. And while we've unearthed much, there's still much more waiting to be discovered about this ancient urban marvel. The Indus Valley Civilization was a master of urban planning, far ahead of its time. This statement holds true even as we delve into the third millennium before the Common Era. The cities of the Indus Valley such as Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were marvels of their time showcasing a level of urban planning and architectural sophistication that is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Imagine cities laid out in a grid pattern, with wide, straight streets intersecting at right angles. This wasn't a haphazard arrangement, but a deliberate design that allowed for efficient traffic flow and easy navigation. Even more impressive, the city planners of the Indus Valley had a keen understanding of zoning. They divided their cities into distinct areas for residential, commercial, and administrative purposes, much like the urban centers we are familiar with today. But the ingenuity of the Indus Valley civilization didn't stop at city layouts. They were also pioneers in sanitation and water management. Each city boasted an intricate network of covered drains and sewerage systems, a rarity in the ancient world. Houses were equipped with indoor toilets that were connected to these municipal drains a feature that even Roman cities, renowned for their aqueducts and baths, didn't adopt until centuries later. The construction techniques of the Indus Valley people also warrant admiration. Their buildings were made from uniformly sized kiln-baked bricks, a testament to their knowledge of standardized production. These bricks were so well made that they have stood the test of time, surviving for over 4,000 years. The use of such durable materials suggests that the people of the Indus Valley understood the importance of sturdy, long-lasting construction. They built not just for their present, but for the future as well. But what about the larger structures within these cities? The Great Bath of Mohenjo-daro is a prime example of their architectural prowess. This massive public pool, lined with watertight bricks and coated with a layer of natural tar to prevent leakage, was likely used for ritual bathing. It's an early indication of the civilization's advanced hydraulic engineering and their societal emphasis on cleanliness and ritual purity. The fortified areas or citadels within these cities also hint at a centralized authority and the need for defense. 
these citadels housed large granaries, indicating the civilization's focus on agriculture and food storage. This, combined with the evidence of extensive trade networks, paints a picture of a prosperous society with a stable economy. The urban sophistication of the Indus Valley civilization is a testament to their ingenuity, leaving a lasting architectural legacy. Their cities, meticulously planned and skillfully built, stood as beacons of civilization in an era when urban centers were few and far between. The echoes of their architectural brilliance resonate even today, reminding us of a time when a civilization, nestled in the fertile plains of the Indus, built cities that were marvels of the ancient world. The artifacts from the Indus Valley provide a window into the daily life and culture of its inhabitants. About 5,000 years ago, the people of the Indus Valley lived their lives with remarkable sophistication. The society was urban and cosmopolitan, bustling with trade, crafts, and agriculture that were way ahead of their time. Let's delve into their trade practices first. The Indus Valley people were skilled traders and their network extended far and wide, reaching as far as Mesopotamia. They traded in everything from grains to precious stones, and their seals, found as far afield as modern-day Iraq, serve as tangible proof of their far-reaching trade links. Moving on to crafts, the people of the Indus were exceptional artisans. Their craftwork, ranging from pottery to intricate beadwork, was highly refined and showed a level of skill that still impresses us today. Pottery was a major craft, with the people producing a wide range of vessels, including storage jars, dishes, and cups. The pottery was usually plain and utilitarian, but some pieces were decorated with geometric patterns or images of animals, reflecting their connection with nature. Jewelry was another significant aspect of their craft. Beads were made from a variety of materials, including terracotta, gold, and semi-precious stones like carnelian and lapis lazuli. These were used to make necklaces, bracelets, and other adornments. The presence of such ornate jewelry suggests that the people of the Indus Valley appreciated aesthetics and possibly had a hierarchical society where status was displayed through personal adornment. Now let's talk about their agriculture. The Indus Valley was a fertile region, blessed with rich alluvial soil and a reliable water supply from the Indus River. This allowed for intensive farming, with the cultivation of wheat, barley and peas, and later cotton. The people of the Indus Valley were among the first to spin and weave cotton, a testament to their innovative spirit. Their agricultural practices were highly organized, with fields being plowed in a grid pattern, revealing a sense of planning and knowledge of crop rotation. They also domesticated animals, including cattle, sheep, and goats, which provided them with milk, meat, and hides. The toys and games discovered from the site suggest that they had time for leisure and recreation. The most famous is the small terracotta cart, complete with movable wheels and a cabin for a driver, hinting at a society that valued play and creativity. All these facets of daily life in the Indus Valley reflect a highly organized, prosperous society where people lived harmoniously, engaged in productive work, enjoyed their leisure time, and appreciated beauty and craftsmanship. The remnants of their daily life and culture give us a glimpse into a society that thrived with remarkable harmony and prosperity. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the Indus Valley civilization is its still undeciphered script. This enigmatic form of writing is a tantalizing puzzle, a silent language that has held its secrets tight for over 4,000 years. The Indus script is unique, unlike any other known writing system. It's composed of approximately 400 distinct symbols, which are often found on tiny seals, pottery, and even tools. The brevity of these inscriptions, typically containing less than five symbols, adds to the complexity of decoding this ancient script. The characters themselves are visually striking, featuring a mix of human-like figures, animals, and abstract signs. Some experts suggest these symbols might represent words or syllables, while others argue they could be non-linguistic signs like emblems or clan symbols. Despite countless attempts, the script remains undeciphered, and there's a good reason why. Most ancient scripts have been cracked with the help of a Rosetta Stone, a bilingual inscription that provides a direct comparison between known and unknown languages. However, such a key has not been found for the Indus script, leaving scholars to grapple with the puzzle in the dark. In recent years, technology has given us new hope. With the help of computational linguistics and machine learning, researchers are now studying patterns in the symbols, hoping to unlock their underlying structure. Yet, 
the code remains unbroken, and the civilization's thoughts, beliefs, and stories are still a mystery. The Indus script is a powerful reminder of how much we still have to learn about the ancient world. It's a fascinating riddle, a testament to a sophisticated civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. It's a silent language that whispers of a time when the cities of the Indus were bustling with life, a time that we can only imagine. The Indus script, a silent language that holds the secrets of a civilization, continues to baffle and intrigue scholars around the world. The decline of the Indus Valley civilization remains shrouded in mystery, with theories ranging from climate change to invasions. It's like a book with its last chapters torn out, leaving us to piece together the fragments of a once thriving civilization. Around 4,000 years ago, this urban marvel began to crumble. Some scholars point to the shifting course of the Indus River, which would have disrupted agriculture and trade, leading to economic downfall. Others suggest severe climate change, such as prolonged droughts, could have played a significant role in the civilization's decline. However, it's not all about environmental factors. Some think the civilization fell victim to invasions by nomadic tribes from the West. Yet, this theory has been met with skepticism due to the lack of archaeological evidence of warfare or mass migrations. The truth is, we may never know the full story of why the Indus Valley civilization fell into obscurity. It's one of history's greatest puzzles, a testament to the impermanence of even the most advanced societies. But let's not end on a somber note. The story of the Indus Valley civilization isn't just about its fall. It's about the enduring legacy it left behind a legacy that continues to resonate in the annals of history. The civilization's advanced urban planning, elaborate architecture and complex social structure set the stage for the development of later urban cultures in the Indian subcontinent. Its influence can be seen in the Mauryan and Gupta empires, which inherited and further developed the concepts of urban administration and planning. Moreover, the Indus Valley civilization's artistic and technological prowess, seen in its pottery, seals, and jewelry, set a high bar for craftsmanship that would inspire generations to come. Even today, echoes of the Indus Valley civilization can be found in the cultural fabric of modern India and Pakistan, from agricultural practices to artistic traditions. While its decline still remains a mystery, the legacy of the Indus Valley civilization continues to resonate in the annals of history. As we step back into our time, we carry with us the awe and respect for a civilization that was far ahead of its era. The Indus Valley civilization, with its masterful urban planning and enigmatic script, continues to captivate us. The timeless mysteries it left behind, an undeciphered script, the reason for its decline, its precise societal structure, still intrigue scholars and history enthusiasts alike. Thank you for joining us on this journey back in time, to the lost cities of the Indus. If you enjoyed this journey into the ancient world of the Indus Valley civilization, there's more to explore. Dive deeper into the mysteries of the past by hitting that subscribe button. We're always digging into history, unearthing fascinating stories and sharing them with you. If this video sparked your curiosity, don't forget to share it with fellow history enthusiasts. We'd love to hear what you think about these lost cities, so leave us a comment. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in our next journey into the past.